Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Today's a special day because I'm going to be doing the full detail of this 2018 Audi RS3. We're first going to start by cleaning the wheels because as you can tell, they're covered in brake dust. We're then going to address the paint. So washing the paint, full chemical and mechanical decontamination, polishing stage, and we're going to finish it up with two layers of a ceramic coating. We're also going to address these tailpipes because there's a bit of carbon buildup, so we're going to clean those up. We're going to take care of the interior, so full vacuuming, dusting, cleaning of the glass, cleaning of the carpets, protection of the carpets with a fabric guard, and also cleaning and protecting the leather with a nano coating. So stay with me, I'm going to show you the full steps for the interior and exterior. This is a special 400 horsepower car. Let's go ahead and start the show. All right, guys, we're first going to start by cleaning the wheels as these are the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. So for a soap, I'm going to use the Chemical Guys Citrus Wash and Gloss. For a degreaser, I'm using Meguiar's Super Degreaser. That's for the tires. And the wheel cleaner is Meguiar's Wheel Brightener as this is good to remove caked on brake dust. By the way, guys, I'll drop the links to all the products and tools used in this video in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So I first start by spraying the degreaser on the tires and let that dwell for 30 seconds. And I then spray the wheel brightener on the face of the rims and in the inner barrels and let that dwell for a couple of seconds as well. I then take my Tough Shine Stiff Bristle Brush and I brush the tires. And when all that's said and done, I rinse off, including the inner fender wells. Now to go further in the washing stage of the wheels, I use my Speedmaster brush to do the inner barrels. I always start with the top and work my way to the bottom. This is a great brush to get into those tough areas, including behind the brake calipers. And then for the face of the rims, I'm using my Wheel Woolies Boris Hair Brush, as this is a soft bristle brush for the face of the rims and won't scratch or mar them. Once the wheels are done, now is the time to give the car a thorough rinse down. Alright, so for the pre-wash stage, I'm using Angel Wax Fast Foam in combination with my MTM PF22 Foam Cannon. Now this is a great soap, I dilute it 1 in 9 and I let it dwell for about 10 minutes and this acts as a traffic film remover. All right, now we're going to wash the paint and we're going to use Chemical Guys Clean Slate. This is a premium surface cleanser shampoo, so it adds a lot of lubricity when you're washing your car. And also it has the added benefit of helping to remove any old layers of wax or paint sealants. So when you're washing the car, I always recommend the two bucket method. This is part of the safe washing techniques. So one bucket for rinsing your mitt and the other bucket containing the soapy water solution. You always start from the top and work your way down to the bottom as the bottom part of the car is usually the dirtiest. You work in straight lines, never in circles and very light pressure. Let your microfiber chenille wash mitt do the job. Another quick tip, if you have a garage like me, you can clean your car inside the garage or if you have to work outside, always do it on a cloudy day and ideally at the end of the afternoon or very early in the morning when the sun is not at its brightest. Alright, 
Now's the time for the chemical decontamination and I'm using Fireball Ultimate Iron Burn. So this is an iron fallout remover. You essentially spray it on to the paint. It can be either wet or dry. So this product sprays on clear and when it reacts with the iron filings, it turns to purple, indicating that it's reacted with them and they are ready to be rinsed off. So as you can see, this paint was full of those iron particles that were embedded in the clear coat. They can come from rail dust, brake dust, or industrial pollutants. And as you can tell, there was a lot of it. So once you're done, after four to five minutes of dwell time, you go ahead and rinse the product off. So the second part of the decontamination stage is the mechanical decontamination with the use of a clay bar and a clay lubricant. If you don't have a dedicated clay bar lubricant, you can make your own mix using a mixture of car shampoo that's pH neutral and water. So this will add lubricity. You spray it on liberally onto the paint and you use the clay bar to remove any leftover embedded contaminants. And as you can see, there were quite a few on this car. Next up, we're using CarPro Hydro 2. This is a wipeless silica spray that's amazing. You spray it on to some wet wheels, including the face of the wheels and the inner barrels, and you immediately wash it off using a heavy jet of water, ideally with a pressure washer. And this activates the molecules, and this basically gives you a super quick nano coating that lasts three to four months and makes cleaning the wheels a lot easier. All right, before drying, let's give the car a final rinse down. So for the drying stage, I like to start with the windows. To do so, I use a squeegee and a waffle weave microfiber towel. All right, now to dry the paint, I'm using a high quality waffle weave microfiber drying towel. To make sure I don't get any water streaks after drying, I use my Metrovac Master Blaster Revolution. This is a car dryer that shoots a warm and filtered air and it helps remove all the water from the nooks and crannies. Next up, I'm using CarPro Eraser. This is an intensive oil and polish cleaner. So this will ensure that my paint is squeaky clean and free of any leftover contaminants or polishing oils. So as the car is fairly new, it doesn't need much paint correction, but I'm gonna be using a one-step polish, the CarPro Essence. It's an extreme gloss enhancer and acts as a primer for ceramic coatings. In combination with the CarPro Gloss Pad, this is a finishing pad, so a great combo to uh, enhance the gloss and to prepare the paint for the ceramic coating. I'm gonna be adding two layers of ceramic coatings from Kamikaze Collection, a base layer of Miyabi Coat and a top coat of ISM Coat. So this is gonna be extremely, extremely shiny, crazy gloss levels, maximum durability as well. We're talking about 36 months of durability. Contrary to other uh, quartz coatings, you uh, apply the kamikaze coatings in straight lines, steady hand technique. And after waiting usually 15 minutes of cure time for the Miyabi coat and five to 10 minutes for the ISM coat, you go ahead and buff it off using circular motions and a high quality microfiber towel. By the way, once you're done buffing off the quartz coatings, you have to throw away your microfiber towel because you don't want any glass shards to be formed on the towel and maybe scratch or mar the paint for next use. Next, I'm gonna add a coat of Kamikaze Overcoat. This is a sacrificial layer that is designed to be applied on top of ceramic coatings to protect them against a water spotting during their first week while the coatings are still curing. On its own, this product lasts three to six months and adds a lot of gloss and shine and slickness to the paint. Time to clean the glass with one of my favorite glass cleaners, the Stoner Invisible Glass. This is a premium glass cleaner and is ammonia free, so safe for tinted windows. I use this in combination with a waffle weave microfiber towel.
for a pro touch. I add Meguiar Synthetic Express Spray Wax to the glass as well, so it gives it a nice shine and that ultimate final touch to show some glossy windows. For a tire dressing, I'm applying a coat of Chemical Guys VRP. This is a water-based dressing and gives a nice semi-gloss look. All right, we move on to the interior and we first start by vacuuming the carpets and the floor mats. I'm using my rigid 5 horsepower 4 gallon portable wet and dry vac to do the job and a stiff bristle brush to help remove any hairs that are still in there. So once we're done with the vacuum, I brush all the fibers of the carpets in one direction and I give straight lines while brushing in the opposite direction to give a nice detailed touch. This is very appreciated by customers. To protect the carpets and floor mats, we're going to be spraying a layer of CarPro Seaquartz fabric. Now it's hydrophobic and also is UV proof. You basically spray it on and let it dry. Now for the interior dressing, I'm using CarPro Pearl. This is a water-based coating. It's fantastic and I use it diluted 1 to 5 for the interior. So it goes on super well and leaves a nice clean matte finish. So like the brand new factory look. To clean the leather, I'm using CarPro Inside. This is a dedicated leather and interior cleaner. You basically spray it on your microfiber towel and you rub the towel on your leather seats. To protect the leather seats, I'll be applying two layers of CarPro Seaquartz leather. Now this is a stain resistant and dye transfer resistant coating. It's highly hydrophobic and it's also UV proof, so it's going to help nourish the leather and protect it as well against the uh, damaging effects of the UV rays, so no fading and cracking. And as well, this coating makes cleaning the seats a lot easier in the future. So you basically just need a damp microfiber cloth to remove any body oils as the coating itself adds a lot of hydrophobicity to the seats. So all in all, a great coating. For the windshield, I'll be applying a coat of Angel Wax H2GO. This is a glass sealant. To apply it, you basically spray it on the glass and then you apply in circular motion using a microfiber towel. You let it dry for a period of about 10 minutes before buffing off. This will greatly increase visibility and security while driving because this is very hydrophobic and rain will repel right off your windshield.
guys, I hope you enjoyed the full detail of this brand new 2018 Audi RS3. So this is a special car. I have tons more videos on full car details on my channel. So you can click the link up here to access those playlists. Also, I'll make sure to drop all the links to the products and tools used in this video in the description down below for you guys to check them out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, smash the thumbs up button, show me your support and click the subscribe button. That way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. Also make sure to activate the notifications button. That's the icon that's in the form of a bell. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video and be the first one to see it. So thanks for being there, thanks for watching, and in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.